one of the like I used to be a avid reader wild book part thing mainly mm-hmm. one of the books that I've read the only book I've read and finished in a day is like your father's biography right it was so interesting to me the book I think it was back in 2016 17 theta when I was just starting my business अभी मैं आई रिमेम्बर बिहान आठ बजे बस्त थाले मैं बेलका को आठ नौ बजे मैं तो बुक्न सकें क्या सो यू बिंग ए सन लाइक व्हाट आर हिज कोर फिलोसफी दैट ड्राइव यू अफ कोर्स ही हेज हेड मैसिव इंपैक्ट अन योर लाइफ एंड योर लाइफ फिलोसफी व्हाट आर द मेन थिंग्स जल्द तब ड्राइव कर सो दे इज अ क्लियर डिस्टिंगशन अफ मी बिंग ए सन एज अ फादर राइट वॉट आई हेव लर्न फ्रम हिम एज अ सन इज ह्यूमिलिटी no matter how you big you become as an individual you got to stay more grounded you got to respect people right you cannot uh, you've always got to whatever you do you got to make a difference in people's lives through the society etc uh family value first these as a son these are the values i've learned as a as someone who's working with him in the business that different sets of things i've learned from him if you put your heart into something mind to something achieving no matter what we have to achieve it you have to have that fire in the belly and till that work is done you have to go at it i won't call it aggression ki is that commitment and resilience and determination to making sure that you are achieving that goal of yours sensing the nerve of exactly what are the problems are preempting it and then creating a scenario where you've already created a ring fence for any problem that could arise being a visionary leader doing things differently always putting people first always knowing where to put the right person at the right place and uh, you know with something that he says is about uh, you know being being someone who has a good knack and caliber for networking but that's how you're going to grow that's how you're going to learn knowing what your strengths are knowing what your weaknesses are so that two from the book the two aspects i learned as a son and as someone working with him you know how professional is he with you oh, especially God. beginning days man is it hard working with your dad so <laughs> he's a hard task master you know we call it uh, we call it uh, university of hard knocks man right? <laughs> there is no shortcut it's not only for me i mean there's a time when i'm sitting with 20 of my people in the room and if i've done if i've done something wrong if i've not done he calls you out calls you out is a very understatement <laughs> okay. okay there has to be a professional way of doing it so we are continuously challenged so i would have done nine out of 100 things i would have done 90 good 90 good can stay at is the 10 that you haven't let's focus on that so there is that continuous pursuit of excellence that is happening because he's he's not only me because i'm his son but everyone in the organization is pushing our boundary okay? our boundary for a person so if you met anyone from cg if they even if they had whatever experience they'll always walk out saying i've become a better professional i've become more i've, I've gained more knowledge i've become i worked in an environment that is so so um, aggressive so uh, they don't stop you know my father has told all of us that i know the real ko pottery is already started and we all are like nuts and bolts either we have that speed won't change speed won't slow down but if you want you tighten yourself and re- match up with the thing otherwise the speed le garda you will go flying out mm. so you know I, i was i was never built to be a businessman frankly i don't even consider myself a businessman you know like more like an entrepreneur but uh, The, the the difference between that is, is is something which i can talk to you uh, later on but even at the age of 12 i knew i had to get into the corporate world but i was not fit to be so i i used to during holidays you know just come and sit in my father's room and just observe 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 when i was 12 right and there were times when i came to the office and you know sometimes as a 12 year old guy always not suited booted right they will only allow hand on a tie and i was given hell for not mm. doing that because if you want to come into a particular environment and you're not in the right dress code you're disrespecting everyone in the environment i 100% agree on that this new narrative that on sunny j lab and all that there's a place for it but then it's about what you embody so that was back then right so i'm giving you a small example yeah. so 
I mean, in an organization, he's been very strict. But at the same time, a big advantage I've had is that I think he gave me a lot of businesses that were struggling, and mm-hmm. one by one, one by one, I was able to turn it around. So it was a very testing time for a couple of years. I only had my first office in after six, seven years of joining the group. You know, first desk, not even office, and then I had to prove myself coming up. And there's, I'm sure you must have read it in other, seen other interviews. I I don't want to really take more too much time of my first experience of starting my own business with him. You know how that happened, what I learned from that. I was working in, you know, as a as a waiter in restaurants. I was working in other investment banks. What I learned from that. So all that is accumulated and taught, got me to be the human being today I am. But even today, we are continuously our 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 limit is continuously being pushed by him. You know, he'll never ever say that you've done a great job. He's like, no, you could do better professionally. So, you know, we take it very positively. Mm. And we're always continuously moving by his guidance and 